Okay, hello all you SCC West fans again. Um, my name's Rick. I'm here to talk about week five. I just want to tell you uh, tomorrow at this time, uh, probably around 530, we both work. Uh, me and my cousin are going to be on here and we're going to debate the key matchup in the week, uh, which is LSU and Georgia. I, after seeing what I've seen the last uh, four games, I, I don't think we're going to win. Um, he's pretty sure we're going to we're going to win. So we're going to hash it out. If anybody wants to participate in this through the chat or call us up or whatever, just send me an email here, secwestdudes at live.com, and we'll include you or, or answer your questions, whatever you have. Um, so we're ranked number four in the nation right now, but that's a, a paper ranking at best. I think really the only team in the top ten that's um, impressed anyone, to include myself, is, is the Alabama Crimson Tide. Um, I am now a, a Bama believer. Um, I said they were going to win, uh, lose four games by the end of the year. I've got a hold to it, so I still think they will. But um, for week going into week five with them going to play Kentucky, they're head and shoulders above the, the rest. And if they can continue to keep playing like this, they're I don't see who who's going to beat them. So anyway, Alabama's going up to Kentucky. Um, 17 point favorites. If I was a betting man, I'd probably take the money, um, give them the points and take the tide. But Kentucky's a very tough place to play, and we've seen some very screwy things, i.e., the Ole Miss, South Carolina. Uh, but what worse was that FSU and um, South Florida thing. Anyway, uh, hopefully, Ole Miss might can get back on track against Vandy. This week, they're nine-and-a-half-point favorites. Um, I sure hope they can. If, if, if I was a betting man again, I, I would take Ole Miss in this one and give them the points. Uh, I think Houston Nutt's going to – Houston Nutt's right where he, he likes to be. He just got beat. He's ranked – God, they fell from four to 21, for God's sakes. Uh, wow. And, and, well, maybe he'll get them back on track. Um, again, we got LSU and Georgia. Georgia Tech and Mississippi State might be very interesting because the way Mississippi State was able to limit LSU's rushing game this year, which every, looks like everybody's been able to do it so far. Um, starting to wonder where Charles Scott is. Uh, but anyway, Mississippi State's going to be playing Georgia Tech. That That's intriguing. Um, I'm really looking forward to watching that one. Georgia Tech's a four-and-a-half-point favorite. But I tell you, if Mississippi State is brings their same rushing defense that they brought against LSU, uh, they might very well can win that one. Uh, Arkansas, Texas A&M, it's a pick uh, That's up in um, Arlington, that brand-new, gorgeous facility. I, I don't have a line on this game. I, I wished um, you Arkansas fans – all I need is one of you to, to give me an email and, and, and call the show. And um, we really need your inputs. Uh, we don't even have to talk about this Alabama game. But anyway, Arkansas and Texas A&M is, is intriguing from a, uh, an old um, S Southwest Conference perspective. And um, to see how Arkansas can, can bounce back after being dazed and confused in Tuscaloosa. We'll see. Uh, the way AM has been playing this year, though, I, I, I think um, I think Arkansas is going to be fine. But 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 those guys is have no defense whatsoever. An, an, another, um, it's a real intriguing week. Week five here for the SEC West fans because we got tech, uh, Tennessee and Auburn playing. Tennessee's a one and a half point favorites. Uh, the people on the plains are just. Um, they're loving the Tigers. Again, if you're an Auburn fan and, and can participate and would like to provide some insights, please do. Um, I've had five, five Auburn fans back out on me here. So, so really all I have on the SEC West Dude show so far is LSU, 
um, Alabama and Ole Miss fans represented. Um, you know, three is a good number, I guess. And they're supposed to be the top ten, uh, three teams in the West, but we sure have missed some good insight from you Auburn folks who are pretty excited right now. Like I said, if you're an Auburn fan, send me an email. Let's schedule something. I want to hear from you guys. Um, but this Tennessee-Auburn game, Auburn's been very high on their offense. Tennessee's been very high on their defense. Um, sounds like a, a real intriguing and interesting matchup. Uh, for it being a one-and-a-half point game and after seeing Tennessee play uh, Florida and knowing their coaching staff, uh, Monty Kiffin not lame. Um, I think Auburn's offensive uh, heyday is going to come to a to a a stop. If uh, well, if Crompton can just not throw uh, over two interceptions, they'll probably win this one. But whoever wins this Tennessee Auburn game, it, it's going to be a big game for that team, especially Auburn, because you know they're going to be undefeated and they should be ranked. I mean, if you look at the teams that's ranked ahead of them. Uh, I don't, you know, with L me being an LSU fan, we're ranked number four. I don't care. We can be one or not ranked. I, it, it, it doesn't bother me. Maybe that's the, the product of going through so many national championship seasons and knowing the ups and downs. I don't know. But, but, but Auburn fans, trust me, if y'all can get out of Tennessee with a win, you will be ranked. Um, so, and that other stuff will take care of itself. Y'all got a lot of football left to play with Ole Miss, LSU, and um, Alabama coming up. You win all those games, hell, you'll go play NAS championships. So don't worry about it. I don't think it's going to happen. But anyway, again, me and my cousin are going to be back here tonight. Um, here is the website again on Ustream. There it is. We'll be broadcasting live, and we're going to put together a little debate 10 minutes for YouTube and then we'll we'll cut it off and then we'll just we'll keep broadcasting and and we'll see um, who wins the debate I guess or, or I hope he convinces me that we will win this game because I don't think we are anyway that's it for now um, we'll probably get the Alabama fans sometime this week to give him some respect since they're by far playing the best football in the country right now um, they lost Dante Hightower, but I, I think I, that's not somebody you replace. But, you know, if they can do without those uh, key offensive linemen they left, I, I think um, they'll be able to roll on without Hightower too. Um, I, I think Saban's that good of a coach, and they've been recruiting so well, especially at that linebacker position. I think they'll be able to plug and chug. But, again, they're not going to be a good without Hightower. Um Hell, if he wouldn't have got hurt, he'd probably be playing in the pros next year. Well, he could. I don't think that's the, the rules. Anyway, we appreciate you watching and, and uh, appreciate all the emails we've been getting and the calls. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you.